Hey guys, how's it going? I thought I would show you my recording and guitar setup. A lot of people have been asking me about that. So I'm going to run you through everything. And uh, just really quickly, some of the stuff I've bought, some of the stuff um, has been sent to me from some of the companies that I work with. I've got a long relationship with like Laney, uh, Boss and Roland. Um, so I just want to make that clear. But uh, this has not been sponsored by anyone. I'm just simply showing you the stuff that I use. All right, so firstly, my guitar. This has been built for me by Tom Waghorn. This is my custom guitar. I took this out on the road for the Stephen Wilson tour. I had it built for that. And um, I do really enjoy playing this. I've always loved tellies. <laughs> Um, and that goes into these amps, okay? So at the moment I'm using this one. Uh, it's called the Lionheart. Lovely clean tones. Um, these ones here, uh, these are the Iron Hearts. And uh, in fact, this is the GHR. This one and this one, um, what's cool about these is I actually took these out on the road also. So these two bad boys have done like, what was it? 145 gigs in 33 countries or whatever ridiculous thing so these are the actual amps I took and one of them is loaded with EL34s and one 6L6 um, I think this is the 34s uh, I'll check that out in a minute anyway um, but this this particular one is the one that I've normally used um, I think that's the 34s yeah so that was my main amp and then this was the backup one okay now all of my amps run into this thing here this is called the Boss tube amp expander so just to give you a, a brief overview it allows you to plug the speaker in um sorry to plug in instead of a speaker so that you don't damage the amp because basically uh as most of you know if you put a tube amp um if you turn it on without a, a load it will eventually blow up <laughs> so it allows you to use it and turn the volume right down so there's no speaker attached right now this basically takes the load enables you to turn up and down the volume and to record it directly which is really really awesome there's a bunch of like um different app uh, cab settings and amp uh you know settings and stuff you can also plug a speaker into it and have a separate volume for that so if i really want to get both sounds i sometimes plug a speaker in and mic it up as well and then you can get two tones the, the original speaker as well as um, the effect from here, which is really cool. Then that runs into this, which is called the Avalon um, preamp vacuum tube. I don't really know what the hell it does, but it just supposed to be good. So I got, I got one. <laughs> um, so yeah, it kind of just warms up the tone. Uh, it's you know particularly good for vocals and stuff. I've actually bought it for uh, vocals or say um, acoustic guitar, miking up acoustic guitar, get a really warm and pure tone um but then i realized i could plug my guitar into it as well and so for about the last year i've i then used that now that then goes into this um it's a bit messy at the moment i've got loads of stuff plugged in this is called the roland octa capture now let me tell you something cool about that uh i think it was 2010 or 11 when that came out and i was in japan when it was being um premiered as it were um and it was just such a i remember the moment being on stage and they showed this feature called um auto gain feature or something where you can have a whole band playing and you just press this one button and it sets the sensitivity and literally every day i use that because it's so cool and i, I remember i actually bought that one just so you know because i do like to uh support the companies i work with as well so i did buy that um I'm not going to show it on camera because it's so messy, but my drum kit over there uh, is a rolling drum kit as well. And again, I bought that, um, you know, so I do buy stuff as well. On the floor here, we've got um, a couple of pedals. This is an old uh, Carl Martin compressor that I've had for um, like 25 years or something crazy. That's cool. This is a new, newer pedal, Anger Driver. It's basically blues driver and stuff. Yeah, just to add a little bit of crunch to the sound. Um, that's basically it. That's the overview. So all the videos that you've seen maybe recently, um, this is the setup I use, obviously various guitars. Uh, sometimes I plug into this. At the moment I'm plugging into this. In fact, just recently I recorded an album for uh, a chap um, and uh, Billy Sheehan was on bass. That was uh, kind of cool. 
playing along to that. So maybe I'll do a video about that at some point as well. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, and I recorded um, for Mike Lindup's album, uh, Time to Let Go, on this amp with this exact setup. And he was pretty happy with the sound. So I was happy with that as well. So anyway, yeah, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below and uh, I'll see you on the next video.